What is up guys? It is Ryder back with another gathering video. I haven't done one of these in a long, long time. So I just wanted to talk about uh, what happened at the gathering, what I brought home with me, and uh, why you should go to a knife show. So starting off, I was going for a cybert. Uh, that, is, that is what I wanted. This was number one on my list. I wanted, I wanted a cybert fixed blade. He had his little traverses there at the show. And uh, just wasn't in the cards. I, I got there pretty late, actually, in line. Early, the show was open. And then uh, we just, uh, I, I went in, and lo and behold, he had already sold all of the fixed blades that I was going for. So I, I didn't even pick this up at that point. I walked over to Strider, and I ended up dropping t way too much money on this little SLC. Get that to focus in for you guys. Uh, so I got the SLC along with the hybrid Tonto that you'll see in just a second. Oh man, it's really struggling to focus in on this guy. Give me a second, guys. Um, there's so much going on in the background. I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> there it is. So I just, I, I love old school Strider Stripes. I knew that I needed something. And, uh, you know, this guy is a wicked knife. It already cut me in Vegas at the USN gathering. Got me, I want to say right there. You can kind of see the, the line. Anyway, great little knife. Uh, very compact. Been carrying it every day since. I ended up getting a little Mummert Knives clip for the sheath. This is, uh, I think he calls it the Stone Lady. It's a really cool sort of just versatile clip and it worked perfectly on the sheath. Um, yeah, and I also picked up this monster. This is the hybrid SMF. So what we have on one side is Gunner Grip this is the new gunner grip pattern according to Strider. So it's not uh, not going to be what you're used to. Uh, but yeah, love the Tonto. That seems to be what I collect. But it's a hybrid because on the other side it is a Strider Stripe flame tie instead of the double gunner grip which used to be the only way to get a gunner grip. Anyway pick this guy up Let's see it's gonna gonna struggle to focus in on that oh, so close but uh, yeah this guy is pretty sweet it's nice and smooth Here, well, you know what strider stripes look like uh, and it is just an absolute monster of a knife love it today is Friday the 13th by the way so this guy's in my pocket you know, in case there's any crazies out there. Of course, it's a, it's a USN gathering, so I had to pick up the show Special Microtech. This year, all blacked out, UTX-85. And we'll get to some more Microtechs at the end of this video, but really, this is just, a, just another great piece from Microtech. They are changing some things, and I might do a video about that in the future. Um... Came with this coin, their 25 year anniversary coin, which is pretty sweet. 25 years of out the front goodness. Um, we're going to get into the stickers in just a second. I want to go over the knives for those of you who won't stick around for the whole video. But uh, yeah, and then this is the crown jewel right now. Uh, not, not of my collection. I, I have some other pieces that I, I value more sentimentally, but the story behind this guy is pretty cool. So I actually won this knife two years ago in the Barker Lotto, and there's a long story to it, and I'll go over that in the video, but long story short, I ended up selling it, and they were going for crazy numbers on the secondary. This is the Barker Semi-Custom Hokkaido. Or mini Hokkaido, I think. But, uh, yeah, that beautiful blue. So I sold this knife two years ago, and then I came to the show. 
and uh, I got first dibs on what was on the table and so I had to pick it up and I had to bring it home to Alaska it's just a wicked little knife and uh, how often do you get the chance to say you got to own a Barker? Twice so I, I'm, I'm gonna keep this guy had a couple people try to see if they could get it out of my pocket but um, no no <laughs> Not, not for now anyway. It's a, it's a beautiful piece. Very happy to own it. Dead nut centering. Beautiful. Came in a little Bill's case. And that was a lotto pickup. So, uh, before I get into the stickers, just for those of you guys who aren't into stickers and patches, which I wasn't until I started going to these shows, I want to talk about why you should go to a knife show. It doesn't have to be the gathering. You can leave that one for me. Uh, the less people, the more chances I have at the lotto. So don't even think about it. Um, but the, the thing is, like you can see some knives here on the corners. Most of my knives come from these shows. I do not collect unless it's at, uh, at, at the USN gathering. And it's a great way to get pieces at table price. Um, from really makers that you would not be able to touch, you know, for, for any sort of affordability. And it kind of evens the playing field. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of you know, dealers will go in and they'll have people enter for them. It's a business. I get it. Uh, I've got friends at Recon 1. You can see their little patch here. I know Sevog. Um, cool people, you know. It's, it's a business. they got to make their money. And uh, if they get the knife, they get the knife. So you can't be, can't be mad at them for that. Um, but that's another video. But all of my knives have pretty much come from these shows. You got the, the Tad Dauntless, uh, the Sebenza 25, which wasn't really rare. You could find them. But I, I picked this up at the gathering. Uh, I won this guy at the gathering. Laconico, Tonto, Beagle, put that down, pick this guy up at the show, Marsh Almost Custom, Rockstar, the Mac, you know, it, it's just a great way to get knives at an affordable price, and I've, I've owned a lot of other knives, there's a lot of customs that you don't see here because I, I traded them or I flipped them, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a great way to expand your horizons in your collection, see a maker that you've never handled before. Uh, it's the first time that I handled a crime, and now I'm in the crime owner's group, and he, he gave me a tag at the show. And it's just an unprecedented way to get involved in the community. If you like knives, go to one of these shows. I promise you, you will not regret it. Um, yeah, it's a lot of money to fly, but find one near you. There's the Portland Knife Show. These shows are becoming more and more prevalent, and uh, it, it's a super great way to get more involved in the community and make a lot of great friends. So you come for the knives, but you end up staying for the people, and uh, you know, I usually walk away with a knife or two in my pocket uh, at the very least. So let me put some of these guys out of the way here, and we'll get into all the patches and stuff. Uh, the stickers, um, I got some stuff from the Rat Bastard, Rep the Rat. This guy went on my keys, little titanium carabiner. Let me pull all this stuff out of the way. Just a second. So yeah, if you, if you can, there's the California Knife sh Custom Show, there's the Hawaii, uh, there, there's, um, there's another one in Vegas, there's... You know, SHOT Show is not a good one, uh, that's a gun show. But if you go to Blade Show or the New York Custom Knife Show, there's so many shows going on and they just keep adding more and more. Um, so there's there's no excuse not to be able to go, one, go to one in your area. Um, and it's a great way to get involved and find something that you really, really like that you might not have bought before. So really quick, we're going to go through... Cybert, uh, I actually talked to him after the show because I had missed out on the pieces that I wanted. These guys are really cool set of stickers. They're going to go on the case, um, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Monkey Muster, Life's a Trail, super cool group of guys. 
Uh, very excited to know them and be in the Life's a Trail Facebook group. Uh, Strider gave me a patch because I bought two knives from them, and I also had this guy with me uh, because, you know, why not? Uh, Hank's by Hank. I actually saw Hank on the plane on my way to Vegas, and I wanted to say something, and I, I just didn't know how to start a conversation, and then I actually talked with him, and he, he said the same thing. So uh, it was kind of funny that I, I went to his table, and we were on the same plane um, on, on the way to Vegas. Rep the rat in the Nintendo style. I just like all this cool stuff, you know. These stickers and things, a lot of them are freebies that people will give you. I, I found Nick Chavez at the show, talked with him for a little while. Very cool, down-to-earth guy. I've watched some of his reviews, and I don't always agree with him, but uh, I can respect the guy, so that guy is probably going to end up on the case. Shit Happens, Life's a Trail, uh, The Gathering Patch. This is the Gathering Coin for this year. Pretty plain. I got one from years prior. I think this is actually my favorite coin. You can see even a size difference. Pull those aside. Recon 1. I know uh, Sevog and that's about it. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Sorry bro, I just know you as Sev and that's what I call you. Um, Deep South was there. I was proxying for some buddies to get them some cool stuff. And so I picked up this little pin, which I will go in my case. Uh, you can hardly see it. It's got little mountains on there and his like signature XXX little jug. Picked this guy up from Hanks by Hanks. Great way to keep your stuff organized. I've been using it to carry my Benchmade proper. Spiderco stickers, yada yada, no knife, no life. Uh, Rydex. Really like those. Life's a Trail. More Cyber, more Spider Co. Uh, PDW, Detroit. More Detroit. More Detroit. That, I think that might be Detroit and Rydex, but I, I like these guys a lot. Uh, knives and Coffee. Hell yeah. And uh, I think that's about it. That's, that's about all that happened at the gathering for me. Just a quick video. I want to get this guy out there. For you guys and uh, get into a collection video which is coming very very soon so anyway drop a like if you enjoyed the video leave a comment if you have any comments questions concerns complaints I will read them because you know why not <laughs> anyway this has been Ryder with a gathering video thanks guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one bye